All right, so here's my look and first impressions of the Lilliput 7-inch HD monitor. First and foremost, I just got done doing an unboxing, and I gotta say, most of the things that came inside the box, really good um, quality, nothing feels cheap. The only thing that felt cheap to me that's extremely cheap is the actual foot that the uh, screen is sitting on. Um, other than that, everything else felt good. The buttons felt good on the screen. The battery isn't bad at all. Um, all the connections and everything, the extra accessories it came with, everything's legit. So I um, haven't used this screen yet. It's my first time using it. I got my DSLR, my Canon T3i hooked up to it. So um, yeah, we're going to mess around with it, you know. Pull focus and stuff like that. You know. I'm doing manual focus, focus on the chair right there, and then on the picture in the background, back on the fore, uh, foreground, just like that. There's a the camera right there, looking at the screen. Right now, I'm just looking at the screen to pull focus. I'm not uh, using a, a live view or whatever the monitor on a T3i. So, um, right now, as you can see the screen is kind of cropped. Right now, first thing I uh, noticed when I first turned on the screen is that the buttons right here are backlit. Out of all the videos I watched, and I watched about 35 of them, nobody mentioned that these buttons are backlit. That's good for nighttime videos. I do a lot of uh, nighttime music videos. Um, that's good for low light. You know, if you're inside a dark environment and you're trying to film something with your uh, monitor and you got it, you know, set up and everything, you want to see. All right, so um, let's look at some stuff that it got to offer. I haven't used this yet. Let's look on. Here's the volume buttons. And I'm guessing that this has live volume. As you can see, the lights are lighting up as I use it. It's funny. I haven't seen no lights light up when I've seen other people use this monitor. I don't know. Maybe this is a different model. I don't know what's going on. But um, menu click on menu you have um, a lot of options brightness um, how do I go up and down okay I don't want to okay language you have um, white balance to look like you have uh, okay you got the red green and blue right there color temperature you got your reset button you got your what's this OS OSD position let me see okay that's the menu positioning or whatever you got horizontal positioning tint saturation contrast brightness I'm trying to get it set to 1080p and press record on my camera and see if it's going to automatically change the screen size. So I press record on my camera, the screen size is still the same. Don't know what's up with that. Let me go back. Excuse me. Alright, so now I got my Canon T3i hooked up on a tripod. And um, I got my Canon Vixia G10, which I was just recording with, hooked up to the screen. And with the video camera, it shows a widescreen at 1080p and stuff like that. So I'm thinking it's something with the Canon T3i with DSLRs. Because I know when you're looking at the live view on a DSLR, it's inside standard definition. And then they say when you press record, that's when the view, the screen goes to... I don't know, I think it still stays inside standard definition, the viewfinder screen. But when you're hooking up the DSLR through HDMI, it should go to uh, HD. So I don't know why it wasn't doing that. Maybe because, I don't know, maybe it's using... I don't know. So um, with that said, um, as you can see, if I'm talking, if I talk into my video camera, you can hear my voice through the TV screen, and that can be adjusted and stuff like that. Um, it's not amazing, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah. Now with my video camera hooked up to it, when I say the screen is clear at 1080p from a live view mode from my G10. Let me say, this screen is clear, like ultra clear. I don't know if people said that inside their videos, but you know, it is super sharp. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and that 
echo or that my audio, my voice coming from that screen is kind of throwing me off. So I'm gonna use use this to zoom in and show you how clear it is. If you can't really, you know, get a gist of how clear it is by me using this right now, then you know I don't know what to say. This bad boy is real clear. So. Yeah, man. So, uh, if everything works, you know, I'm going through my menus on my touch screen and stuff like that. And it's working one for one. There's no uh, input lag. Let me cut my voice down. That's kind of irritating me now. So I cut the volume down right on the screen, or I can use the remote. So yeah, I cut it down to 25. There's also um, a headphone jack right down here, but um, Unless your unless your uh, camera can carry audio through HDMI, which the Canon T3i doesn't, but my Vixia G10 does. Um, unless it carries audio through HDMI, then you have to actually run a cord or rig it up some kind of way. That's why I love this video camera. I had to get it. You know, this camera runs around 1300 in the U.S. and overseas, it's, you can get it for 850, anywhere between 800 and 850, which I did. And I mainly be running this Canon Vixia G10 on the camera jib, so this actually works out perfectly fine. You know, so it's kind of cropped on the on a T uh, three I and it's full screen on the uh, G ten. And press record on my G ten, and there it goes. I mean, it doesn't decrop it. It doesn't do do anything to it. It stays full screen. I'm really loving it. So with that said, man, this is your boy M Lee, the hobby collector, and um, I'm out of here. Think about buying the screen. Don't think twice. The only thing, like I said before, in my unboxing or whatever the case may be, or the earlier inside this video, should I say, the foot, the foot that just, this little part right here, that's the only thing that's real cheap. Other than that, everything else is legit. I'm out.